Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's video, or good afternoon, or good night, whatever you guys are watching this. But anyways, today is Wednesday, and we haven't ate one thing today. It's 11.30 in the afternoon, so I worked out this morning, went there fasted, and then I didn't have any time to eat. So this is what we got here. We got some chocolate chip pancakes, and we're going to top it off with some syrup. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know why. Alright, then we got some eggs, salsa, and spinach, and just some, some tea. Just some tea. This looks so good. Mm. Wow. So what I've been doing lately, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I take a banana, see this? You, what you want to do is peel the banana from the backwards because then the the peel, see all this like Why this peely stuff? Why are you people to peel a freaking banana? <laughs> I'm showing them a little trick, dude. That's instead, stupid. instead of doing it this way, you want to peel it backwards because then you don't get all these strings attached and it's a lot better. So I peel the banana, here we go. And I take about don't listen to him. 16 grams of almond butter, about that much. Yeah. I take a bite, take a little almond butter, and I take a little <laughs> rice cake, you see this rice cake? And we got the perfect snack. See when I get too lazy to actually spread on the almond butter, I just do that, and a perfect pre-workout snack. Tip of the day. <laughs> Don't post that. Why not? Don't. <laughs> I always think bunny ears. Why are you What's up guys, so we're back with another commentary on my workout. So my main lift for today was bench press, then I went into some accessory work after that. I hit some triceps, and I hit some more chest, and I went into some, some biceps. So starting off with bench press, I hit three sets of five starting off my with my warm-up sets. This was my working sets right here. I didn't feel my warm-up sets because I thought there was no point. So this is my war working sets here. So I went from 65% of my one rep to 75% of my one rep max till to 85% of my one rep max. So I went from 165 pounds to 205 pounds to 225 pounds. It worked out so well for me, I know. And then I downsided to, um, this was pause, a three second pause bench press. So I did four sets of five with this using 205 pounds. So I was just holding in my chest for three seconds. This felt really good, actually. Like, I was, like, it just works on my explosiveness off my chest. So I'm going to start doing this exercise a lot more because I found it very helpful for my explosion off the chest. So to, to get my one rep max um, this week, like, I'm on a four-week cycle right now. So I go from um, going from last week was, was my deload week. It was supposed to be my deload week, which I did not deload. I don't know, I just felt good last week, so I didn't deload. So, no, today, this week was supposed to be my deload, but I didn't deload because I just felt really good today, and I just didn't want to deload. So, uh, usually I would go on a four-week cycle of um, three heavy heavy weeks and then a deload week, and then I would start off fresh a new one. So I just started off fresh a new one, and then I did um, 65, 75, 85, my bench press, which I just said, and... To get my one rep max this week, I I took my weight last week. My heavy heaviest weight was two two hundred forty five times two, and then I times that by I took the weight two two forty five times it by the reps two, and then I times that by point oh three three three. 
Then I added the weight, and that was my estimated one rep max for this week. So I took 260, and I just put 65, 75, 85 percent my one rep. And yeah, that's how I got my one rep max this week. So I went into some accessory work after that. So the first thing that I did, many clips back, was incline dumbbell bench press. I did three sets of 15 using a 60-pound dumbbell, I think, nice and light, just to get that hypertrophy in my chest. And then I went into some dips. I did weighted dips. Uh, that works more like upper chest. Like if you lean forward more, which I did, and it works more like your upper chest. So I did three sets of fifth, three sets of ten with um, a seventy-five dumbbell in between my feet. And then I went in some hammer curls. I did three sets of fifteen each arm. And then the last exercise I did was um, tricep pushdowns, a hundred total reps. So I just did. I just rocked them out a hundred total. I took like in. Took breaks as needed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ah. That's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Yeah, that is really good. All right, so I'm, I'm having one of my meals I, I made the other day for myself. See, so yeah, look how convenient this is. I made this the other day, took it out of my fridge, put it in the microwave, and a nice, healthy meal, ready to go. <laughs> so, this has about like 72 grams of protein and like 50 grams of carbs and like... 26 grams of fat. So this is dinner. I have like 70 grams of carbs left today. So I don't know what I'm gonna have left. That I'm gonna have tonight. I don't know. Probably have some more pancakes. Probably more pancakes. So just hit my workout. Just got home like in like 30 minutes ago. Made this and then I eating it right now. So I couldn't really talk very much to my workout because I had to go really fast. So I just zoomed right through my workout. Had like really, really like no breaks in between my sets. I only took like 30 seconds in between my sets. Um, and yeah, it was, yeah, it was tough. It was a tough workout. It was a lot of fun though. I had a lot of fun working out. But I think I had a new PR today. 225 times 5. Like I don't think I hit 5 before. I might have. I'm not sure. I I remember doing it, but I'm not like really positive doing it before. So, and I first time hitting those pause bench press. That was exciting. But we're going to eat this. Enjoy the rest of the night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was my first and last mistake. I'm blue without you.